professor at Simpson College. Thank you in advance for taking my question. It's directed towards Mr. Stewart. I am a practicing Christian, and my husband and I have been married for 11 years, and I consider my marriage the greatest blessing in my life. My husband and I have also chosen not to have children, either biological or adopted. Under your legal analysis, the three imperatives of marriage is primarily the, uh, as you call it, reproductive potential or procreative, procreative potential. Is it my understanding of your legal analysis that somehow my marriage should be understood in the courts to be less than your marriage because you've made a different decision in your marriage? I'll take your response while I'll see if 